This is today's first stop, air. Home of the famous joke, is that your air's your bacon? No, I'm just standing too close to the fire. Anyway, let's let you have a wee look, shall we? Now, I know nobody's going to believe me, but this is September in Scotland and it's not pouring down with rain and there's people on the beach. What do you reckon? Seems like some kind of fantasy to me. What do you think, folks? Is it some kind of fantasy to you as well? I think so. It's, <laughs> it's always sunny in here. You can always guarantee the Atlantic to deliver lovely weather. <laughs> Well, let's enjoy it while we can. Rightio, we'll see you later. Bye. Ciao. Right, apparently we're going for a really crap coffee at the Pavilion Cafe. Well, not be as bad as the... Not be as bad as the one we had yesterday in bloody the noon. Hot dishwasher. Hot dishwasher water. 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 Dishwater. Water, water. That's me getting my jaw dropping draw dropping thing going again. Money in the air, it's absolutely well, it's, it's obviously not short of it now because there's some seriously fancy cars about. Let's hope this thing isn't jiggling about too much today. My selfie stick does love to jiggle. Look at that fancy eye, ah, there must have been some money in there. Look at the back of Keith's head. He's still got hair on it. The bloody great show. It's the cafe. And the cafe has strange turrets on it for some strange reason. And, and just in case air gets attacked by the moors. Oh, and he's off for a single fish. Right, we'll turn this off and we'll be back to you and on. So, as just somebody's informed me, this thing was opened in 1931 by the Duke of Wark. Duke of Wark, Duke of York. And that that's worth taking a photograph of right there because that's what that monument there is what this country is actually about ese monumento ahí es actualmente se explica lo que es el Reino Unido ese monumento ese es un monumento de la segunda guerra y es un monumento de Los Royal Scots Fusiliers. And there he stands, your man. They died so that you can be free. Ellos murieron para mantenerte con la libertad. Quite bloody right.
bring the funk back. Uh, this is a whole different part of the country. I've never been here before, I've never seen it, I hadn't imagined it. And it's rather nice, isn't it? And when I say rather, I mean very, very, very nice. Not just nice, very, very, very nice. So we've arrived, we're in Port Patrick. And what a lovely little spot it is. I'll be sure to take plenty of photos and videos for all you folks to see. Because you're too lazy to get here yourselves, yeah. <laughs> There's old Grumpy. Oh, Grumpy. Kind of vlogging travel guru. I am some kind of vlogging. I am some vlogging travel guru. I'm a legend in my own mind, <laughs> as the old saying goes. This is pampas grass, isn't it? it? Must be swinger. Pampas grass! You used to put that uh, in your front garden if you are a swinger in the 70s. Yeah, I'll tell you what, buddy, if there was anything about that, the instant vibe I got with that apartment is like, why would you have eight people in there if you weren't swinging? <laughs> so we might be in the swingers' apartment. I'll be locking my door. We'll be looking for stains. <laughs> like that guy who worked with Captain Pugwash. What was his name? Seaman Stains. Seaman Stains. I'm sure there'd be movies shot here. The Wicker Man being the most famous. Yeah. The wee, there's the back of Wilson's Heed, and there's the harbour. How lovely is that? I'm going to have to just take a wee 40. Ah, the harbour house. Nine films were shot in Dunfreeson Galloway. Well, I said Port Patrick. Well, you can see why. That looks like that's it. That's got a bit of the shining, that one up on the top of the mountain, isn't it? The top of the cliff. Eat a beat the board walk. That's more like a, I think that's a daytime cafe. Right. There's a car park around the back. Oh, you lucky gets. So there is a, they just told me there isn't a fish and chip shop. Oh, yeah. uh, Where is it? It was just that blue cafe there, but I think they just stopped serving. Bloody typical. <laughs> <laughs> That's my luck. That was close. Thanks anyway. It's, it must be five o'clock. The bloody five o'clock. Oh, look, there's people in the sea. People in the sea in Scotland. Oh, I, I'll be arrested. <laughs> But look at the lovely floors. And the Rangi Rover. So, no, that's it that looks like one of these houses. Sister of the girl whose wedding we went to here. Right, okay. So that's why you were here, was it? So the town hall is over here, and we managed to get parked right inside it in the camper van. And got Leah to bed. Nice. Party done. How's the water? Freezing. <laughs> Mugs. <laughs> right, we're going to walk around to the other side of the harbour and then we'll show you it coming back. As you do. So for you proletarians, that's our hotel over there, halfway up the hill. It says hotel on it. And this is the other side of the harbour. It's getting a little bit sunny, so let's carry on down the road. 
Right, now if you're lucky you might get to see me slip, twist my ankle on a slippery rock as we go up to this prominent in Port Patrick. Ooh, you bugger. So this is the very south west tip of Scotland. Well, maybe not the very southwest, but pretty close to it. Now, where did all bugger lugs go? Here he is. Cool. Now, this just being here makes me feel like torching Edward Woodward. You'll have to look that reference up yourselves. Oh, I've got to pay attention now. I'm sure it'll be hilarious if I fall over for you. Oh, cool. Get away to buggery. Really? Where? That's Ireland. That's Northern Ireland. That's, that's Northern Iron. Northern Iron, so it is. Right, I'm walking across this bridge, paying more attention, foolishly, to recording this video than to where I'm actually walking, which is a bit of a recipe for disaster. Now there's a good 40. Now, Keith's getting a bit brave, we'll all have a good laugh when he falls in. Oh, he's showing off. Wilson's the champion, my friend. Hold on, we've got to get a photo. Photo of the daft lady. Oh, no, that's the other daft lady. Go on then. We've got you. You're going to have to. You did your woo-hoo there. You're not woo-hooing again. Was it a bit woo, bit too woo-hooey, was it? Touch of the old, ooh, dear. So that over there, in the very far distance, is England. We're, of course, stood in Scotland. And very far away over there, in the sun, is Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, so it is. This is where Boris was going to build his tunnel. Good on him. Well, you know you can't build a tunnel there. Yeah? You know why you can't build a tunnel? Because there's a place down the road called the Devil's Porridge Bowl, where they made all the explosives for World War II. When World War II ended, they've got 1,000 tons of explosives, so they dumped them out there. There's a ferry. Very, very, very far away. You'll not see it, but you can take my word for it. Right. So that's a look out on the promontory with um, Edmund Hillary Wilson on top of the rock over there. Smoking his bleeding cigar. Lovely though, isn't it? You gotta admit. But my battery's running down, so I'll get you folks on the way back. So, you know, I really hate to ruin your day looking at too much of me, but uh, lovely little harbour there, eh? Now, I'll whip it round and let you have a good look at it, shall I? Because it's just the kind of guy I am. We're now stood in the harbour that you could see from the other side, and that's. Port Patrick there, and there's the lifeboat, and you see your bedroom from if you here. fall in, yeah. and you can see my bedroom from here in that hotel, directly in the middle of the shot just now, and I did not shut the doors, <laughs> and there's the, there's the Duda, the wee harbour, pontoon. pontoon, how, how thoroughly delightful, 
How spiffy. What a delightfully picturesque town. It's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Old Grumpy Wilson says we're off for dinner now. So... His cheese and onion toast is running out. His cheese and onion toast is running out. He's not happy. He's, ha he's, he's hangry. He's getting all hangry, he is. Both hungry and Look angry. Well... Mr. Wilson, the happy, the happy mobile homeowner, has now got his eye on that boat the other side of the harbour. As if his mobile home wasn't enough, he's now after a boat. Well, it's starting to get sundownish in Port Patrick. Ish. I said I did say ish. He's got there. He looks yeah, right, swingers. Ooh, there's the tea room, coffee shop. That's the first coffee shop we looked at. It might be open tomorrow. Yep. Because they wouldn't want to take your money today, would they? I'm sure the uh, breakfast for Fed is <clears throat> ample coffee. Aye, but I just like to go to the coffee shop, that's all. Yeah. You, you like cake? Like cake. <laughs> Absolutely. It's because I like cake. Never a truer word has been said. I don't think there's anybody who would deny that I like cake. No. Ooh, look at that fancy wee car. It's the Hound. He's got a bit of a Baskerville vibe to him. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know that dog. I've met him. That would have been a cracking road on that, in that wee Lotus thing. Barrack Street. Maybe the DXR. That was a Lotus. It said oh, it, it on the bank. Oh, did it? Okay. You quite often get those box holes in those gaudy colours. Light orange. Light. That's a nice house. Just that white one right there. Yeah. Yep. Just handy. Oh, it's two houses. Yep. And there's a wee, I don't know if you'll see it, but there's a wee lighthouse over there. That Big Heed Wilson's just walked into the... <laughs> just walked into the shot. That's a lovely... I need to get a picture of that. There it is, Port Patrick Harbour and Sundown. The one negative of Sundown is it's now bloody freezing, so, oh well. Can't have it all, can you? Yes, you bloody well can, and I have. Tough luck.